Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Keely Denenberg, Senior VP of Client Solutions here at Orange Grove Consulting. I am joined by Dr. Kelly Watson, Managing Partner at Orange Grove, and we are continuing a quick conversation on hybrid work and uh, the challenge that we keep hearing in the news about should people be remote, should people be in person, should people be hybrid. And so, Kelly, what do we risk losing if workers are potentially forced to come to the office? Well, we lose good performers, Kaylee. I mean, the reality is um, there's a lot of choice in where people can work these days. And um, people have had a taste now of the benefits of not having to commute and do this log every day. And um, especially introverts have had several years now to shine and show um, what they're capable of and be on an even playing field with all the extroverts. And so um, what you're going to lose is you're going to lose good performers. You're going to lose diversity. You know, some of those introverts and some of those women and some of those people of color um, have had an opportunity to really shine. And again, you know, it, it, by going back, this, this idea that going backwards is somehow going to advance our workforce um, is, is just going to lose those people. Young people don't want to work in an office for the most part. Um, it's certainly they don't want to be constrained by the one size fits all solution. So I think um, I think that, you know, what it's done is what what the office is allowed is lazy, bad managers to be successful because they um, are able to monitor work performance, you know, by watching if people look busy. Um, they don't have that luxury anymore. And so what this has really done is showcase that lazy bad managers um, are not performing in this environment. And so if we lose all these good performers, um, it's going to show up and it's going to show up in your bottom line. So really important to make sure that we're smart and that we don't move backwards, but actually move forwards. If you want better performance, then you've got to be good leaders. Great. Thank you. Thanks everyone for joining us. We have two other short videos just like this one that talk about best practices that set the stage for this conversation. So if you haven't viewed those yet, be sure to check those out on our YouTube page. Thanks so much.